just in case we don't get a chance to go over this in class, I thought I would go over your chapter six exam. Um, your first section is vocabulary. You're going to, this is El Apartamento en San Salvador. Finalmente te mudas a un nuevo apartamento en San Salvador usando los mandatos singulares e informales, los de tú. Um, de los verbos abajo y el vocabulario, dime en qué cuarto tengo que poner los siguientes muebles, ¿ok? So, what you have to do is use the verbs given and um, the furniture and make five sentences in which you tell me um, where to put different pieces of furniture. Like you have to say, put the computer in the salón, ¿ok? Um, using your two commands, your mandatos singulares e informales. Okay, the next section is en que trabajan usando el verbo ser um, conjugado al presente, los siguientes profesiones. Mira los dibujos siguientes y escríbeme una frase diciéndome a qué se dedican a cada una persona. So, you're going to take the words in the word bank, which are different professions, you're going to use the verb ser, and you're going to write a sentence telling me what each of these people do based upon the picture that's next to their names. Okay, then, cualidades. ¿Qué cualidades necesita uno para tener éxito en cada una de estas profesiones? Usando las expresiones y el vocabulario siguiente, escríbame frases completas explicándome las cualidades ¿Qué se necesita en cada uno de estas profesiones? So, you are going to use the expressions as necesario, hay que es fundamental, um, and the following adjectives to make a sentence to tell me what qualities the ver these various people need to have to be successful in their jobs. Um, then la gramática, una nota para tu amiga, sales de vacaciones. ¿Quieres que tu amiga te ayude mientras que estés de viaje? Escríbela una nota pidiéndola hacer cinco cosas usando los mandatos singulares e informales, los de tú. So again, you're going to use your two commands, and you're going to tell your friend what you want your friend to do. So you're going to, here's the picture, and then there's the vocabulary words um, that go, that describe the picture. I want you to make a two command telling your friend to um, turn unplug the television, to give food to the cat, etc. Um, then, in la clase, your friend Jose is teaching English in San Salvador. What is the correct command form he should use to address his students in Spanish? For each statement, select the correct response. So, read through here and then pick um, the correct command that would best complete the sentence. Um, pay attention to the way that whether they're talking to multiple people or just one person um, when you're making your choices, okay? Dando las direcciones, explica a las personas siguientes cómo llegar de la plaza cívica a su destino final, número uno, dos, o tres. So I've put numbers um, in the picture, and you are going to give commands telling these various people how to get from, you're always going to start at la plaza cívica, so how to get from here to one, two, and three. So pay attention as to whether you are talking to, um, you're using, you're talking, you're using, a person, a title with a person, um, and whether you are addressing them by their first name or whether you're talking to more than one person, and so on and so forth. Um, formal o informal, lee los diálogos siguientes y decide si sean formales o informales. So these were um, dialogues that you saw in class. You're just going to read them again, and then on the blanks below, you're just going to write whether it's formal or informal, um, whether you use tú, usted, or ustedes. Um, las fotos de la familia, mira las fotos siguientes y usando el presente del verbo estar um, y el participio presente, dime lo que están haciendo algunos miembros de la familia. So you're going to tell me what are these people doing. So like tu hermano menor, my younger brother is playing the piano. So you're going to make sentences using the present progressive telling me what all those people are doing. Uh, la lectura, you're going to read the following paragraph or multiple paragraphs, the following essay, and then you're going to answer the questions below in English. And I want you to answer it in English so that I know that I, you understood exactly what you read. And then la cultura, answer the following questions about El Salvador in English based upon the movies you watched and the articles you read for homework. 
Um, and then la parte oral, I'm going to play um, a dialogue and you are going to listen. Uh, oops. Whoops. And you are going to listen to the following dialogues and decide if they're formal or informal. Match the following words with each dialogue and then decide whether or not the speakers were formal or informal. So basically in dialogue one, you're just going to take the words from the word bank and just list them below dialogue, the words that were used. Some of them could be used more than once and the words that were used in dialogue two, three, and four. And then afterwards decide whether the dialogue was formal, informal, or a mixture of both. And that's it.